just disassembling the Saab 900 um, for parts and stuff. I thought I'd share this little um, tidbit that I learned um, as I was pulling apart the interior. Thought it would get a few laughs. So I'm pulling the interior out. Obviously the uh, the fascia, the dash cap, and then the, the piece that goes underneath where, the, where your feet go. Um, all the bits are, you know, scattered around. Um, so I'm wanting to pull the HVAC out of the car because it's nice to have spare parts for that kind of stuff because it's really difficult to find. So um, I'm looking to get the HVAC out of the car. Um, obviously this giant um, evaporator box needs to come out somehow. Um, so I realized something as I was pulling everything apart. You can see this giant strengthening, strengthening beam, uh, like crash beam that goes from A pillar to A pillar pretty much from the left side to the right side of the car. Just a big hollow tube, right? Big hollow piece. Well, only Saab would think, hey, there's a big hollow beam. You know what we could do with this hollow beam? We could run the HVAC through the hollow tube so that we don't have to run ducting in the car. We can utilize this tube. So you can see the vents with the flap little vacuum pots you can look inside the tube, and that's what Saab actually used. So they used it for the left and right air vents, as well as you can see the air plenum that distributes the, the, the heat and the air to the floor, left and right. And then you can see the tube that goes underneath the seats for the floor heat from, from behind you, uh, for the rear passenger. So they actually utilized this tube for that purpose of distributing the air. That's absolutely crazy. Only Saab would come up with something so wackadoodle. And it is genuinely a huge crash beam. I mean, it's held to the car with these enormous bolts from the outside of the car. So they weren't screwing around. Now, the crazy thing is, and it is just mind boggling, the steering column is bolted to this beam. And when I'm pulling these bolts out, I realized that Saab went to such a level that they put rubber O-rings on the fasteners that hold the steering column on so that air doesn't leak out of the beam. Like that's taking it to another level, putting O-rings on fasteners so that air leakage doesn't occur. Absolutely craziness. That's a level of build quality that you would never see in a car anymore.